Hi, my name is Richard Cadden from Chop D Academy in York. This is going to be a tutorial on, on boxing, for Thai boxing, for the Warrior Collective. Now going back to the, the stance work that we were saying earlier in the, in the earlier tutorial, we're making sure that we stood in our stance with feet in diagonal columns of the square. Okay? We're up on the balls of the feet, okay? the heels are just slightly off the floor, we're not right up on our tiptoes, knees are slightly bent and we've got that curve in the top half of the body. The, the hands are up here and then we're working around this rotational twisting movement. Okay? Now, a lot of the misdirection that normally comes from boxing is thinking that boxing comes from your arms. Boxing really comes from your feet and your footwork and your movement and rotational twist. So that's the, the fundamental part of what's going to make your boxing better. So, this is what I use for um, improving the, the twist on your boxing. So we put the bar over our shoulders, stand in our stance, and we'll just get used to this rotational twist turn and making sure that we're coming through as far as we can. We're trying to get a full 180 degree turn and twist, okay? When people are too tense, they punch from here, losing the twist, losing power and not punching as effectively, okay? So when I'm twisting, I'm turning on the ball of my foot, so I'm dropping my back knee down, turning my right shoulder forwards, then I'm pulling my right shoulder away, my left knee comes, comes across, Okay, and uh, my left hand comes forward. So we've got again this twist and rotation. Now this is a great warm up for, for boxing, okay? And if you wanted to do this for like a good 10 minutes, this uh, will really work your core and, and develop stronger and better abs, okay? So, now that we've programmed our, our body to control this balance, Normally you get people that overbalance and start falling all over the place. We've got our core switched on, we've got a good balance, twisting through, staying on the balls of the feet, keeping the chin down and holding this form. Our arms are merely an extension of this rotational twist. So what we're looking for is a thing called kinetic linking. We're getting all these different muscle groups in our body talking to each other so that we can build this kinetic chain going up from our body. So we're working this rotational twist and then the hand comes out in a straight line. Some of the common mistakes are people start lifting the elbows out and start winding the shot up before. Notice I'll, I'll lose that kinetic chain and then it's just my arm that's punching. What I want to do is punch with my body. Okay, so I'm turning here. Um, what you want to imagine is punching down a real narrow channel. So I'll, my elbow can't come out. I have to move in a direct straight line, okay? Coming down the arm here and then coming all the way back. So I'm going to twist and untwist and then back into the guard, making sure that I'm keeping the hands up. Again, common mistake. People start throwing the punch and then come back the long way and then that's when you're going to get countered, okay? If you start popping the jab, come back the long way, that's when you're going to get countered, okay? So get into good practice. Program your body to react correctly, getting this twist and twist movement, staying on the balls of the feet, turn the hip, turn the shoulder, and the hands come straight back into the guard. Okay? So, this has established how our body wants to react and move when we're delivering punches. Now, we've got this kind of safety zone, the, this imaginary force field, as we were saying earlier. We've got this safety zone, this force field. Now, it's been able to judge that range and distance with the target. So, the exciting bit is the boxing. That's what everybody else sees. For the individual doing the boxing, your attention should be on your footwork and your balance, okay? The exciting bit is in the punch, but if my footwork's wrong, I'm gonna start throwing myself all over the place and start losing balance, okay? So, I'm keeping my hands up. I'm just slightly out of range. Remember, we're taking that little step into range delivering the jab and coming back into the guard. Okay, from here, one, two, and then coming back into my stance. Keeping this nice square stance on, okay? So I'm there, one, stepping in for the one, two, one, two, and back into the guard, okay? One, two, and back into the guard. So on the balls of the feet, getting this twist on twist movement. Some of the common mistakes, 
that people make when hit, hitting the bag. Yes, the bag's an inanimate object and you can make it swing all over the place if you want to. You can lose respect for the bag, yeah? By stepping into space, if this was a, per this was a person, this was an opponent, they'd be hitting me, okay? So I have to respect the range and the distance. And this is a good time to practice your footwork and your movement, so when the back swing it, okay, you can move in and out, okay? I can time the shot, so I'm hitting it when it's on the perpendicular, and I'm not over committing and stepping into space. So, again, drilling that and repeating that on a, on a repetitive basis, this is what will improve your boxing technique. Remember, the teaching points as opposed to just getting excited and smacking the back really hard. Okay? Now, what other things can you do that will improve your boxing power? One of the, um, one of the things that my strength and conditioning coach has, has me doing pick, gets me to uh, use, a, use a medicine ball. Okay? Pick up the medicine ball, I'm turning it turn into the bag. Turn onto the wall, okay, and I'm pushing my hand out in a straight fashion. What I'm trying to do is get all these muscles working in the same fashion. So, as opposed to it just being a, a straight punch with, with no weight, now I've got an additional weight. I'm trying to be as fast and explosive as I can. You have different muscle, muscle groups, different muscle fibers, different muscle types, okay? What we want to be teaching is the right muscle fibers to react in the right way. So, when I'm here, instead of my stance, I'm going to push the ball on a flat plane into the wall and then I'm working my reactions in being able to catch it as well. Okay, and we're here. Another good key point, remember to breathe. Always breathing on the shot, okay? We don't hold our breath. You see, people, when, they're, when you're first starting out, you start holding your breath, you start getting over tense, okay? We have to stay relaxed and fluid and, and move correctly with these, with these punches that we're throwing, okay? So, thank you for watching this tutorial on boxing for Thai boxing. For more information on the, on the gym, you can check out www.chuckdyork.co.uk. Um, you can also check out our Facebook page, Chuck D Academy, and our Facebook group, Chuck D Thai Boxing and MMA. And for more tutorials, please visit the Warrior Collective YouTube channel or visit www.warriorcollective.com. Thank you.